Branson has changed the whole way of airlines. You know, all the things he does. I went to the Bond movie last night because my wife was the one that wasn't very well. So I thought I'd get her mind off the thing and we'd go and see the Bond movie. And uh, here's Richard Branson on the movie. I mean, there's a Virgin Airways at the back, and you'll notice it if you see it. Just keep your eyes open. There he is going through security, you know, going through the loop. He's standing there. I mean, can you imagine the man's thought, I'm giving up time to appear in the, the, the James Bond movie? Because that's the way he thinks. He thinks it's promotional for his airline. And, you know, he just has done it in a different way. It's not like British Airways. It's not like United or American in America. So you get people like that. There's a man called um, Charles Schwab, an American banker. Mega rich. Many billions. Everybody else is selling selling equities to the rich folk. You know, you buy shares. You know, you see all the rich folk reading the Times on Sunday, or rather on the Financial Times, to see what their stock prices are. Because they've bought stocks. Only rich people buy stocks. Until Charles Schwab got a hold of it. Charles Schwab suddenly realised there's a population up there this size that are rich. There's another population over here that's giant. I'll sell stocks to them. That's exactly what he's done. Made everybody quite a lot of money and made himself a many times billionaire. All these other smart bankers had every opportunity to do it, but they didn't do it because they didn't think like that. So your son, given half a chance and given some help and getting into finding what he could be good at. The reason I'm a racing driver is that I was a mechanic in the garage. I served six years of apprenticeship to become a motor engineer. Went to Stowe College in Glasgow three nights a week. Became a mechanic, did a good job, but more than anything else, kept everything really clean. A rich enthusiast from Glasgow brings his sports cars, GT cars, for me to prepare in the garage for somebody else to drive. He was so rich, the family wouldn't let him race. The family trust wouldn't allow him to race. So he's getting somebody else to drive it. I'm the mechanic as a reward because you could have eaten your breakfast off of the suspension. He said, Jackie, you've done awful well. Why don't you drive the car this trip? Help in getting into finding what he could be good at. The reason I'm a racing driver is that I was a mechanic in the garage. I served six years of apprenticeship to become a motor engineer. Went to Stowe College in Glasgow three nights a week. Became a mechanic, did a good job, but more than anything else, kept everything really clean. A rich enthusiast from Glasgow brings his sports cars, GT cars, for me to prepare in the garage for somebody else to drive. He was so rich, the family wouldn't let him race. The family trust wouldn't allow him to race. So he's getting somebody else to drive it. I'm the mechanic. As a reward, because you could have eaten your breakfast off of the suspension, he said, Jackie, you've done awful well. Why don't you drive the car this trip? Never driven a racing car in my life. So I get a chance. I finish second. The next race, he said, oh, you better do it again. I win the next race. And bingo, the poor guy's out of job, the other driver. But it was sheer luck because I was doing what I knew how to do well, which was mechanicking, very simple mechanicking, but keeping everything immaculate. Nobody had ever done that before. The suspension gets a lot of muck around it. You clean it every day, it doesn't have muck around it. So, your son is no exception. Find the right key for him and he'll keep you very rich for the rest of your life. <laughs>